Hey guys, today I'm working on a 2013 Subaru Crosstrek that the shifter will not come out of park. Our customer got stuck at the grocery store. The shifter wouldn't move. We had to walk them through how to bypass the shifter over the phone to get it down here so that way we didn't have to go tow it in a busy parking lot. First, I'll show you how to get the shifter out of park if this happens to you. And then I will go into diagnosing why the shifter got stuck and would not come out of park to begin with. So if you look at your shifter, there is a little tab right here, a little round circle. Underneath this is a emergency button to be able to move the shifter out of park to get it into neutral. Um, this is normally used if the battery's dead and a tow truck driver has to tow your vehicle, something like that. But there are other circumstances where it has to be used, like if your vehicle won't come out of park. So this could be difficult if you don't have any tools in your vehicle. Um, some vehicles, they make it to where the key can pop that open. This one does not. So hopefully you have a small screwdriver, a hairpin, something to pop this cover up. You just pop it straight up. Don't lose it because you need to put it back in place when you're done. And then inside that hole, yet again, most vehicles, you can stick the key in and push down and get the shifter out of park. This vehicle, that does not work. Um, the key doesn't fit down into the slot. And even this screwdriver isn't long enough to push the button. It's small enough to fit down into the opening, but it won't reach the button I have to push to be able to get it into neutral. And that made it very difficult to explain to the customer because first we told him to try his key and that didn't work. So luckily he had a zebra pen that he could take the ink cartridge out of and the ink cartridge fits perfectly fine down in that opening. And if you just push down slightly, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand since I'm holding the camera, but push down and then you can push the button on the shifter and get it into neutral. Now, still make sure you're pushing the brake pedal when you do this because you don't want the vehicle to take off as soon as you get it into reverse or drive. But that will get you out of park if you ever get stuck. And now we will check out why this one was not letting me get out of park to begin with. So normally what happens is when you have the key on, there's a solenoid inside of here that locks this and keeps you from going into drive. When you push the brake pedal, it releases that lock like we did with the pin. It does that electronically when you hit the brakes. But if the brake light switch isn't working when you hit the brake pedal, then it won't release that lever. And that's what this was doing. So one thing you can do is if this happens to you and someone's with you, have them push the brake pedal down and see if you have brake lights. If you don't have brake lights, try tapping on the pedal a few times. See if the switch is just stuck and you can get it to come loose by tapping it a few times. Otherwise, the switch could be faulty or you may have a different problem entirely. There is a service bulletin from Subaru about the brake light switch. So that means that they've had issues with them in the past. And actually, now that I've tapped on it, I can hear a clicking from inside of here. So now it will function like it should. But when I was in the parking lot, I did not have brake lights. And I did not hear a clicking inside of here. When we called Subaru, they had the parts on the shelf. They said it's a very common problem. There is a service bulletin for it. So coming up next, I'll show you how to replace the brake light switch. So if we look up underneath the dash 
follow the brake pedal up, you see that brown switch right there? That is the brake light switch. And that's what we're gonna have to unplug and remove from that bracket in order to fix this issue. So you can actually just barely see it in this slot below the steering wheel. There's a push button on the bottom of the switch. I'm just gonna depress that with my screwdriver. Now I can unplug the connector. Now the switch itself, you turn it to the left or counterclockwise slightly, and then it'll slide straight out. And that's it, that's the switch. I'm gonna grab the new one and I'll show you guys the steps to install it. To install this switch, you can see there's threads cut in the side of it and then there's spots without threads. We're gonna line this up and it'll sit off at an angle slightly. We'll insert it, we'll push it all the way up against the brake pedal so you have to hold pressure in and then twist it that little bit, it's about 45 degrees, till it locks into place. So you guys won't be able to see this real well, but I'm gonna crawl underneath the dash and do that now. So when I did this the first time, the little push tab to release the connector was facing down. So I'm going to put the switch in a position just counterclockwise of that because I'm going to turn it clockwise to lock it in place. Push it all the way in. Rotate it clockwise. Now when you're pushing it, you don't want to push so hard that the brake pedal gets depressed down. You just want to push lightly enough to depress the plunger on the end. Plug the switch back in. And now we can verify that we have brake lights. And we do have brake lights, they're lighting up. I'm gonna turn the key on. I can feel the clicking in here. It does go into neutral to make sure the switch is adjusted, make sure that your brake lights are not staying on and that you cannot get it into neutral or drive reverse without hitting the brake pedal. You have to make sure that it requires pressing the brake pedal to get the shifter to move. Otherwise, somebody could bump the shifter when you're not expecting to move, drop it into drive or reverse, run somebody over. You don't want that. Once you're done, reinstall the little plug. So if you have one of these cars, keep a pin in the vehicle that you can disassemble to push that button. You might keep a small screwdriver as well or a nail file, anything that you can use to pop that cover open. You might practice it just so you know how to do it in case of an emergency. If you found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, put those down below. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, click on the bell, Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.